Justin Peters spoke at the Truth Matters Conference in May of 2022, and in doing so, he boldly spoke negatively about Legan Duncan's position, one of his positions on social justice. That, I believe, is very notable. Justin Peters is, is Justin Peters of Justin Peters Ministries. You can check him out on the internet if you don't know him. He is focused on exposing false teachers primarily and the charismatic movement, uh, word of faith movement, and he also uh, speaks against the social justice movement as he should. Now, he has a video on YouTube where he interviews John MacArthur. It has 200,000 views. If you haven't watched that, you should go watch that. It is on his YouTube channel, Justin Peters Ministries. The Truth Matters Conference happened May 18, 19, and 20. This particular uh, segment that we're going to talk about in this video is general session number 10 with Justin Peters. Lagan Duncan is well known for uh, being the chancellor of Reformed Theological Seminary. It's a very important seminary, uh, very influential. He's a very influential man. He is also a friend of uh, Pastor John MacArthur, which makes what, John, what uh, Justin Peters said very, very bold, because this is the Puritan Conference. The Puritan Conference is happening in October, and Lincoln Duncan is speaking at it. So let me just say, Justin Peters speaking out against Lincoln Duncan is very bold. He did it very gracefully, as he does everything uh, that he attempts to do ministry-wise. He does it with a lot of grace and truth. And um, he went for it. <laughs> and he, he did it at... The Grace to You Truth Matters Conference. Justin Peters said the following. Now, I want to I want to be careful here because I want to show you a clip from a man who who is not at all a false teacher. Uh, but I'll show you this just to show just to give you an example of how pernicious the tenets of social justice are and how it is infiltrating even some of our doctrinally sound, soteriologically reformed circles. So very, very important. If he holds to social justice, my question is, how is it that he's not teaching falsely? He teach fault he teaches falsely. So there, yeah, there's a question for us here. If someone teaches falsely on one area, are they a false teacher? Well, they teach falsely in one area. Should how much involvement should we have with a person based on their error in one position? Well, the social justice movement is a very important subject right now, a very important topic. So I want to show you a clip from Ligon Duncan. And Ligon Duncan is not, again, he is not a false teacher, but sadly he has, to varying degrees, I suppose, compared to others, but he has been blown about to some extent by the winds of social justice. So watch this. Uh, he wrote the foreword, by the way, to Eric Mason's book, Woke Church. But watch this clip from Ligon Duncan and, and we'll talk about how, how sad this is, really, watch. Can you imagine the gospel impact if Bible-believing Protestants, Methodists, Baptists, Presbyterians, had said of their Bible-believing Christian brothers and sisters in Baptist churches and elsewhere, you're, you're not gonna kill our brothers and sisters in Christ. You're not gonna defraud our brothers and sisters in Christ. You're not going to wrongfully imprison our brothers and sisters in Christ. You're not going to mistreat our brothers and sisters. Can you imagine the gospel impact uh, of that? Um, and you know, it's gonna take us 100 years to overcome the trust issues that have come out of that. It's gonna take us 100 years to come out of the trust issues? You see, as Daryl Harrison was saying yesterday. Okay, play a little bit more. I think I already played that portion. So here's, here's the last segment I wanna play for you. You know, I, I, I tell people my very best black friends have trouble trusting me for really good reasons. Because people like me um, 
have been doing awful things to them and to their families for four centuries. That is such a, a, a disheartening thing to hear. And again, we're, we're, we would affirm, we would agree with Ligon Duncan on the vast majority of theological points. On soteriology, we would agree with him, but you see how pernicious social justice is. And this is one of the things that it alarms me so much about social justice. I am obviously very concerned about the charismatic abuses, word faith, and all that stuff. But in our circles, we've never, we have people in our pews to one degree or another who are listening to a Joyce Meyer or a Joel Osteen or a Kenneth Copeland. We have that, but what we've never had in our circles, we've never had any prominent preachers actually preaching word, faith, theology, charismatic stuff. You know, it's Let me play this clip because I think I missed So something. watch this. Uh, he wrote the forward, by the way, to Eric. Okay, screwed up. Uh, there was a segment there uh, where Lincoln Duncan said that he knows that his black friends don't um, trust him as much as they do trust other people who are black. And that really uh, was very deeply saddening, but should be for all of us. But Justin just was really taken with that and said, you know, if that's the case, Lingan, you need to go to your black friends and tell them they need to repent uh, because, well, he said what he said. I won't try to paraphrase it. I may say it wrong. So you're going to want to go and watch uh, the clip. It is from the Truth Matters Conference. It's from session number 10. But let me tell you, that's bold. That is really bold for Justin Peters to do. And a lot of people say that all I do is say positive things about Don MacArthur. The one thing that I do take issue with is that he has friends that he has speak at his conferences that maybe he shouldn't. What do you think? Is it important? Is that position by Ligon Duncan, the acceptance of social justice and the need for reparations, he went on for that, is that enough to not have him speak at a Puritan conference where he's, where I'm sure he's going to speak wonderfully about the Puritans and at the Puritan conference, I believe he would be wise enough not to promote social justice at that conference. Um, but should he even be there? Uh, do you, do you have to include him in your conference in order to have a wonderful Puritans conference. I think you can do it without him. And man, let me say it again. I know I'm repeating myself, but Justin Peters at a, at a grace to you conference, grace to you puts on the Puritan conference as well. Sticking to his guns and pointing out what needs to be pointed out. Not many men will do that. Justin Peters, if the, you know, imagine if, we can we can expect that grace to you will be gracious to Justin Peters and Legan Duncan, even though Justin Peters did this. But very, very bold. I'm impressed. Are you impressed? <laughs> I'm going to go watch more of the Truth Matters Conference. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do. Links to support what I do not only here on this YouTube channel, but in regards to the BTWN network and other outreaches, um, links to support it in the description of this video. Till next video, my prayer is that God would bless each and every one of you. Take care. See ya.